hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video guys we are going to fix this issue in a two steps something happened and your pin isn't available on windows 11 and 10 pc so make sure you watch this video carefully until end and step by step so what you need to do is you need to hold down the shift key on your physical keyboard press and hold the shift key and click on this power icon and keep holding the shift key and click on restart if it is asking someone is using it just click on restart and keep holding the shift key until you get the recovery option if are not able to do this process you can forcefully shut down your system two to three time and then after that you will get the recovery options automatic repair options there now once you see please wait you can leave the shift key now here you will see lot of options to troubleshoot this issue guys easily just click on the troubleshoot options then click on advanced options then click on command prompt and once you open the command prompt first of all we need to enable the local user administrator account so in order to enable the administrator local administrator account type a net user administrator make sure you type the spelling correctly as shown on the screen space forward slash active then colon and yes and hit enter once you hit enter you will see the command completed successfully so let's open the registry editor now type a reg edit once registry editor comes you need to click on the H key local machine just click on the second number H key local machine then go to file and click on load hive once you click on load hive we need to go to the windows directly click on this PC now go to the C drive or the where you have installed the windows basically it's C drive double click on it then double click on windows once you double click on windows we need to go to the system 32 press s on your keyboard like this and look for system 32 this is the system 32 double click on it now inside here we need to look for the config folder in a c series you can see here double click on it and once you double click on it we need to go to the software this one just you need to select that and simply open it and once you open it we need to name it M software in a lower case like this okay and then click on okay once you created the new folder we need to expand the HK local machine from here like this now click on the newly created folder here M software click on that expand it from side we need to look for the Microsoft in M series here is the Microsoft then we need to look for the Windows NT in a W series just drag it in a W series this option Windows NT double click on current version and once you double click on the current version we need to look for the passwordless in a P series you can see here let me make it bigger and once you expand from the side you need to click on the device here and once you click on the device make sure you follow this path guys this is the path you can see here the full path here okay so once you click on the device we need to go to the this option device password less built version double click on it and change its value to zero just you need to click on this and you need to close this from top close this 
like this and close this so once you close this you need to go to this folder again just click on this folder m software and click on file and we need to load and hype this folder click on yes now we have successfully unhyped this folder now close this also close this and continue with windows 11 or 10 now once you log in on this screen guys just type your pin here again try to log in with your pin now and you are able to log in successfully if you are not able to log in successfully what you need to do is you can try out here the password this option and you can try with the password here hmm. now let's move on to the second method second method you need to repeat same process guys and then click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and once you click on advanced options click on system restore and if you have made the system restore point select the latest one and then click on restore your system all the data as well as all the settings file will be saved in this case you're just going to restore the system this is very powerful guys and if you haven't made the system restore on our system as well so you can also go to the safe mode here click on restart press F4 or 4 on your keyboard so I hope guys your issue is fixed now if your issue is still not fixed you can reset your PC or you can use the Heron boot or you have to reinstall the fresh window if nothing is working so thank you, thanks for watching.